Hey everybody, Johnny here. In a previous video, we talked about creating assets that could cut their own holes in things like walls or ceilings. But I got a question about how to cut out an odd shape like this. Because the profile of this doorway is concave, the convex hull adds in too much extra geometry. And if you don't use the convex hull, then only the frames and the doorways are cut out. But then there's still a lot of space that needs to be cut out that the convex hull would have taken care of. So how can you get the best of both worlds? Let's take a look at the object that I've created. It has two doors, a door frame around those doors, and two side light windows. Each one of these meshes is its own object, and they're all parented to this empty. Those are all in a group that I've made into an asset. This mesh is just going to represent a simple wall. To that wall, I've added the cutout tool from the previous video. The tool takes the original mesh, it takes the convex hull of the specified geometry, and subtracts it from the given mesh. Then we've added this branch in that takes a vertex group and deletes everything that's not in that group before applying the convex hull. If we go to our asset browser, you can see the fancy door asset here because I have it marked as an asset. So we'll drag this fancy door asset into the scene and move it into place. It currently doesn't do anything to our wall because our wall is using the collection called cutters. We'll move the fancy door into the cutters collection. At this point, it's still not doing anything to our wall. The reason is because the cutter tool is also using the vertex group called cutter, and none of these meshes in our door have a vertex group called cutter. If I were to go into this window and add a vertex group and call it cutter and assign all the vertices, you would see that that window cuts out nicely. Next, I could do it for this window as well. Now, if I add in the door frame and do the same thing, you'll see that we get the result we're looking for. However, what about the case where you can't have the side windows be a separate object from the door frame? Let's go ahead and join all three of these meshes into one object, leaving the doors themselves as a separate object that we can open and close later. When we do that, we now see the situation with using the convex hull in this situation. So let's go back to this mesh and remove the vertex group that we created. Now we're back to nothing being cut out. So now instead, what we can do is we can add in some proxy cutters. I'm going to add in a cube to my fancy door collection. I'll parent it to the empty, and I'm going to make it cover part of my mesh while keeping it rectangular. Now, if we take this object and add our vertex group to that called cutter and assign all of its vertices, if we look at our source mesh, we can see that the cutout is happening. The problem is that we now have this cube in the way. Well, one of the nice things about the convex hull node is that it doesn't require faces or edges to actually work. So if we go into this object and select all the vertices, press X and choose only faces, we'll be left with vertices and edges. Vertices and edges don't render. They have to have faces. So we've basically created an invisible mesh that we can use as a cage, and that cage can be our cutter. Now, if I take this object, duplicate it, rotate it around, and fit it to the doorway, as long as that shape remains convex, it's gonna work nicely for us. So there it is, the nice cutout we were hoping for. Of course, I could drop as many of these in as I wanted. Of course, lesson learned here, you may not want me to paint your house. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful, and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. Keep coming back for more tips on Blender, and until next time, I'll catch you later.